Hi, Alex. Jim Witham from GAN Systems. I'd like to show you what's uh, new in our booth uh, here at Electronica 2016. Um, here are some new demo boards that we have, um, a 650-volt demo board um, and a 100-volt demo board. Um, this 650-volt uh, demo board is really nice because it's a daughter card setup. It has a half bridge um, where you have two GAN transistors um, and drivers and all the associated circuitry to, to make it uh, go. We also put this on a, a, a motherboard, and each one of our parts um, has a daughter board. So you can take, if you need an O2, an O4, an O6, or an O8, you can check out the different power ratings you need of these um, devices. These boards go from 750 watts up to 2.5 kilowatts. Um, on the 100 volt, there's a tremendous amount of uh, um, interest in 48 volt systems, um, in solar, in data center, and automotive. Um, this is a, a 48 um, to 12 buck converter um, with all the circuitry so you can just plug in and get it working and we have all these reference designs on the web so if you want to go design your own system um, you can you have all the layouts and in fact some of our customers like the layout so much of this daughter card that they're taking that and putting that directly into their system so they don't have to do any design at all so let's move, move over here um, and uh, talk about some of the latest customer developments um, there's power modules here. Um, this is a battery charger. Um, I wanted to focus in on, on this one right here, which is a wireless charging circuit. This is a very small circuit. Um, that's the size. I um, mean, it does a 250 watts of wireless charging. You might ask, why is that important? Well, um, with, uh, with wearables and mobile phones, you only need 5 or 10 watts. Um, but with other devices, you need a lot higher power. So if you want to do multiple phones at a Starbucks, say four of you are sitting around a table, you want to charge your phones while you're drinking coffee, you're going to need 40 watts. Um, if you want to do laptop charging, 70 watts. Um, if you want to do an e-bike, up to 200 watts. And so you need these high power wireless systems. GAN does high power and GAN Systems does the highest power. This 250 watts we think is a world record. Okay, let's move over here. Um, and uh, this is another one that I wanted to highlight with you, Alex. This is a 10 kilowatt inverter. Um, and this is one phase or 3.3 kilowatts of that inverter. Can you see how small that is? Um, it's pretty incredible. It's 14 times smaller than the smallest commercial inverter out there. So another world record done using GAN devices. We're also seeing um, now that GAN systems um, being recognized as the leader in the GAN market being used by other semiconductor companies. Um, and examples on this card are linear technology and analog devices, and you can go by their booths and go see um, the GAN systems devices over there. Um, this is the analog um, uh, devices board. It's a three-phase um, motor system. In their booth, they have the actual motor running there. They've taken um, our daughter card design um, and put on uh, um, some of their own uh, drivers onto it and, and, and have their uh, demo working straight away. So um, that's uh, what's uh, um, new on the booth here. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed learning about what's new at GAN Systems. Thanks, Alex.